I will still put a lot, like if you, if you take the laning phase aside and let's say that both teams end up with some farm and items, you have this, he's known for his skewer plays right now, and then you also have the Willow Bramble and the Puck. I think both teams can fight. Yeah, and now we're going to hear from Sumi, who has an interview with Xiaowei about this draft. Thank you very much, A AUI and the panel. I'm here with Xiaoba from PSG LGD, the coach. A lot of people were expecting your team to play a different team in Grand Finals. Did you prepare it all for team spirit? Uh, We've already studied and analyzed both teams' stats last night. They are very, very prepared. All right. Many people have also said that Collapse's Magnus has led to many of Team Spirit's wins. How does the team feel about Magnus? Are they afraid or are they ready? We've already thought of them picking Magnus, so it's all in our plans. It is all in PSG LGD's plans, and we will see as we go into game two. Uh it, it does sacrifice the uh, the top water room potential there. Oh, I say that, actually. Aposhka moves in. Toronto, Tokyo, going to be able to pick up this water room and maybe get some extra pressure onto Zing Q. Jumps forward, and there's the first blood. Toronto, Tokyo draws it. Oh, well done by Maposhka. Like, not even just, he basically baited out that rune, right? Let's yeah. think you coming a little bit too close. Get the first blood for Team Spirit. And, and just the focus right now on the farm, stacking up the camps. Ame again moves up to come and contest this and collapse. I don't know if they're really going to be able to do all that much to stop him. Very interesting. But <laughs> Fisher up top. Now the follow up. Looking for it. Faith Beyond there as well. And this is going to be a kill. That's a pretty stark difference to the three heroes yes. stalking the Radiant carry. You know, they got to get this kill, right? They got to get something here. That's for sure. Maposhka's waiting off to the side. Nightmare down. A couple punches. But they bring in the IO. Trade off that Nightmare. And that's going to be more than enough for the moment. But why? Also dropping low. Not low enough. Instead, they turn. Fine. Collapse. One more touch is not enough. But with Fate Beyond uh -huh. TPing in, they might be able to find him here. That was the trusty shovel keeping him alive. Yeah, heading down to the south. TP is available. But Collapse in some trouble. Does the Spirit connect? Ugh, not quite going to be on the mark. He gets out. Trusty shovel indeed. Up top, nothing to say. Uh, zoning back, Toronto Tokyo. He kind of came into advantage on the Ancients, but the pressure will stay in the bottom lane. And we already saw how quickly that top tower went down. No point slowing down here for PSG LGD. It's interesting though, right? Because you can see that this is a dynamic that we've seen multiple times throughout this tournament. You have Team Spirit with a little bit of a lead, even though it's LGD that are taking down more of the towers. Just that stacking mm -hmm. up farming mentality we're seeing from Spirit right oh, here. And look at the Treants put out here. They're, they're watching for Toronto Tokyo, right? Yeah. Because they know that everything's on this Dream Coil. That's by far the easiest way for them to initiate. So you just fan out your units like that from Faith Beyond. And unless they're going to smoke in, you're going to catch that puck. And instead, oh, they're going to find the Dream Coil towards the mid lane, trying to take down this Lush. Do they have enough? Yes. Toronto Tokyo picks up that kill. And with that, a mm. 3,000 gold lead this early on for Team Spirit. Bit of a theme, I feel like, from these two games from PSG LGD. Ame did a similar thing last game on the Ursa, where he kind of stayed in an area which, which seems like surely, you know, like an Morphling. I might opt for it. And look at this movement in before the blink dagger on Shaker. Oh, Nightmare by Maposhka to dodge the stun, but Yaro is still in some trouble as they run him down. It was good, but it wasn't good enough. Toronto Tokyo is coming, but they, they are too tanky. I mean, you see these stacked up heroes. Maybe you're you know, sort of thinking about going in for the, the Dream Coil, but it's a bit too much. They're just so tanky right now. And instead, they try and find a pick off here. Nothing to say. The rest of his friends a little ways away. Zinq making the move over. They're going to get the Terrorize. That's going to get the Tether Snap. And afterwards, the ulti coming from Willow, but nothing is taking the regen from Y. Keeping his core player alive. With the wand, with the Io, this early hood into the uh, Eternal Shroud as well. I have to push. I mean, this is down to about half HP now. Team Spirit, it's really well covered by the vision of LGD as well, but they're going to smoke up now. Can they get there in time? Aegis, it, it's super low now. They pull back onto ZinQ. Going to try and take him down first. And they will get that kill, but it comes at the cost of the Aegis on Ame. 
No leaving it in the pit this time for any other teams. No. You don't really want to take it right now for Team Spirit, but they forced out some rotations at the very least. They got to try and hold this tower, I think, or else this oh. really wasn't worth it. No IO save this time, though. That's the danger of the relocate. Nothing to say outside of Vision. They don't see him. Now they do. The pullback going to be able to get that skewer. The <laughs> Vision not quick enough. And nothing to say goes down. Now looking for more. Ame has to be careful. ZinQ there as well. Oh, Ooh, but Ame nice. with the waveform through it. Brilliant play. Has Aeon disc afterwards. Now the chase looking for more. Can they control? Do they have enough for the kill? The Terrorize comes out, but he got the strength form off. Faith Beyond jumps away. The Steward back on to two. And the RP. Oh, collapsed it into him again. And look, they're just surrounding him. There's no chance to help. They have oh. the bio, they have the shaker, but. There is nothing else left in the tank there for Ame, although trying to TP out, but the stun comes through right at the end. And LGD, another triple kill for Yatoro. And why will manage to escape from that one, but a huge win for Spirit here in game number two. That is massive. Oh, what an amazing defense. And Class does it twice in the fight with the skewers, catching nothing to say. Like, you know, you talk about this idea with like the Aegis and like, what are you supposed to do with this Aegis? Are we supposed to play? Team Spirit looking on the hunt. But LGD, sensing danger coming their way, will retreat out. Just is he, he going to horn toss him again, Lyrical? Don't, don't tell me he's going to horn toss oh him again. Oh my god, he got him again, Trent! They did it to him as they find the pickoff. Collapse, you're too good. What oh. a smell. <laughs> Unreal. Oh, they're so good at just finding that one kill and like waiting for this timing, too, of just this. Oh, oh. they got him on the, the zip. They pull him back in afterwards. Why? And some trouble, Skewer, a little bit off the mark, but the Brambles are there for round two of it. Team Spirit, they came to play on finals day. Taking down Secret, now looking to go up 2-0 in the series against LGD. Unity that they need to survive, what is obviously a pretty terrifying duo of heroes. Faith Beyond shows for a second, collapse, looks for an opening, sees him there. There's an opening, the horn toss, the pullback with Skewer, and immediately gets the kill. Nothing is free, not even pushing out a wave. Not showing himself, has the boots of travel to they, join they with the rest the of the vision, team. Right? They had the ward near the base. They actually saw that Ame was moving over here. Oh, man. This would be such a huge pickup if they can get him. Oh, the spider legs. Walking in, they get him with the horn toss. Chasing down for more. Ame's done. Team spirit, everywhere they go, people die. It's the ward game. You know, just, just spots him heading over there. That, that ward near the base. Oh, Let's him know fire. they chase it down. And now they go up. Will they leave is the real question. There is a glyph available for the Radiant. True enough. They walk up high ground, and Kaudoro going to start beating away, laying claim to this area. In the meantime, Faith Beyond's going to try and push up that top side, but they catch him right away with the glyph. Collapse, pulls him back in, breaks the coil. Team Spirit, they're just playing too clean today. LGD need more. They don't have buyback on this Morphling. Uh, they can't get two racks at the very least on the side of Spirit, but I mean, do you need two racks? I don't know. <laughs> That's a good question. Well, maybe Faith Beyond is actually starting to take this one down. Now the jump in. There's the BKB. Faith Beyond still has that Orchid available, but the turn off to the side. Oh, oh, great Orchid to interrupt, and that will be enough to get him out. That was really well done with the BKB TV. It's like there's one answer, right? Yeah. Finds in there with the Orchid, so well done indeed. Uh, he will at least take a tier three, so that's something. But of course, uh, there's there's still a lot you try and go it on your own. But with all the lanes pushed out now, Team Spirit, without that Aegis, still going to walk up and hit this a couple of times. You have 3,200 HP on Yaro as well as the Butterfly and, done. And they have this ward on the high ground that LGD don't know about. Collapse. They have, they have collapse. So often, he's been the one to make those big plays. They're continuing to push in the bottom lane. LGD hoping for an overreaction from Team Spirit. Mm -hmm. As they walk up, start to hit these racks. But likewise, bottom yeah. lane oh, is look, being pushed they've in. They've morphed in as well, actually. He, like, he's fully committed to the Shaker. Terrorize afterwards. Caught with the fear and the horn toss to pull back. They got nothing to say. He's so far away. They don't have a way to get to him. He, he is going to die here as they get the Fiend's Grip off and the eventual right click down to death. Oh, Toronto Tokyo in the back. Chase he caught one on the way gets in. Gets one on to ZQ. He's in trouble now as well. They find themselves another pickoff potentially here. ZQ, nothing else left in the tank, falls down. That's a nice play. Very heads up there from Toronto Tokyo. Just not letting him just get away with offering up the sacrifice of the Leshrac. You know, not just the goat. We're going to take, what, what, what is Shaker? Cow? There you go. We'll take <laughs> that too. Right. Yeah. <laughs> They're keeping these lanes pushed out. I and mean, this is the only thing. We've, we've seen a couple of teams, you think back to that Quincy Crew game, they were able to 
keep the lane shoved in constantly. You can see Team Spirit not comfortable just hitting away in the Roche pit. Nothing to say walks in. Yadaro up front and center. Jeez. Nothing to say. They jump in. There's the control. The damage out. Mapochka's dead. Buys back immediately. Yadaro turns to fight. Destroys. Nothing to say. They've got him. Caught to the side. Ame in some trouble. Hitting from the low ground. How many misses are there? It doesn't matter. As they chase him down and kill him off. A great win for Team Spirit as they will find more and more. Unbelievable. Oh, the chase continues. Yaro just chases him down. And Echo afterwards trying to buy a little bit of space. Nothing to say, but can the kill collapse? Trying to take him down, but no, it won't happen. On the side, Toronto Tokyo will fall with a big stun afterwards. Yaro moving in. He's big, he's bad, he's Luna trying to kill him off. The fear, the pullback, collapse, he's got him. ZQ, look, they dead as well as they turn and hit. Another one bites the dust, but they buy back now on Sing Two Faith Beyond getting absolutely shredded. Yadaro is too big as they catch him in again. The pushback, they got him caught and gonna maybe find the kill. Nothing to say. Down low, dead. Another huge win, Team Spirit. They won't be denied. The horn toss catches onto ZQ. Oh, and Yaro just slaughter. The way they play these fights, they're so in sync with one another. GG oh. is called. They call it a Cinderella story. Well, if the shoe fits, wear it. They Unreal. Look good. And we got a crowd up there. Talent, very excited for this young team's present. They have been absolutely dominant in this one. 2 0. It's not just the fact that they won two games, it's the way they won these games. The patience exhibited here is not something of a, a young team of like, oh, we crushed the lanes and we're totally owning this game. They, they were patient. Yes. They knew their timing. They watched for the only way for PSG LGD to get back in this game, and they, they just blocked it out. Unbelievable showing here from this team.